This video is just going to be a just a real quick uh, pickup video, and I really actually don't have too many albums to show. I actually only have four, and I wasn't really planning on doing a pickup video, but the one album that I found, I, I just honestly just came back today from finding it, just like not even an hour ago, and I'm honestly still in shock. So I just figured that I probably should uh, pick, it, pick up a video and not wait until I get uh, more albums to show off. And uh, I'm just, I has, I'm still, uh, it's probably the greatest find that I've ever found. And it's going to be the uh, last one I'll show on the pickups video, and I'll talk about it a little further. And I'm just going to go through some of these. Like, some of these albums I actually uh, had a couple, uh, I've had for a couple of weeks, and I just kind of forgot to show them. And the uh, first one being uh, Bobby and the Midnights. This is a reissue of uh, where the beat went, where the beat meets the street. Pretty good Bob Weir album from Bobby and the Midnights. Then the uh, couple of days ago, I also picked up another Bobby and the Midnights. Uh, it's our first album, and this is an original copy. Um, I really like the song here, uh, Festival. And I actually saw Bob Weir back in March, and uh, he played that song, and it's it was uh, awesome hearing it live. It was actually awesome hearing Bob Weir live and just hearing all the uh, classic Grateful Dead songs that they played and some of his solo stuff. Definitely recommends uh, seeing Bob Weir in concert if you get the opportunity, Bob Weir and uh, Rat Dog. The uh, last one is, is actually one that I've had for a while and I don't think I showed it. And I've actually kind of forgot I had it and it's actually still sealed. So it's uh, definitely one of those things where I bought, bought it and just never got around to listening to it or opening it, but uh, a reissue of Dave Mason, It's Like You Never Left. Those are all the ones that I had to show, but the one coming up, this is probably, honestly, uh, the best find that I've honestly ever even found anywhere. And I'm honestly uh, still just stoked that I found it, and I found it uh, at Half Price Books, and it's like Half Price Books sometimes is a uh, hit or a miss. It's like, I went there a couple of days ago, actually. I think it was like maybe Friday I went in there. And uh, the only thing I found was a uh, couple of Mad Magazines. You know, I like getting Mad Magazines and that's the only thing I found. Nothing worth too worthwhile. And a couple of days later, walk in there today and in the uh, glass case, I find Pink Floyd, The Vision Bell. And I couldn't believe it. When I walked into Half Price Books, I always, first thing I do is go to the uh, little section of records that they have. And the last couple of times I went there, it's like they didn't, haven't really added anything new. It's been a while since I've honestly found anything too worthwhile in there. And this was sitting in the, the glass case. Uh, and I couldn't believe it. I asked the guy to open the glass case, and I was, honestly was thinking once I took it out and looked at it, I thought it was going to be a bootleg. It's what I honestly thought, and I was actually very surprised that this was an, indeed an original copy of the Division Bell from 1994. And on top of that, it is actually on blue clear vinyl. Actually, it still has the original sleeve and everything with it. And there's the album right there. And then uh, they had $30 on it, and ironically enough, I actually had a 15% off coupon, so I ended up getting it for like 27 something after tax. And I just like, I am honestly was uh, very surprised to uh, find this album just at Half Price Books in the open. There's been times, and it's like Half Price Books, at least the one near me, it's like you go in there sometimes and you just. Like, look at an album and you wonder why they have so much on it. But then there's other times they have, like, albums that I found that have actually kind of been rare. And they've only had, like, $5 on, so it's like, I don't really get that. I found, I found uh, like, loads of Grateful Dead albums in there once for, like, 10 to $15 a piece. And there's, like, other times I found, like, Beatles and stuff. And there's, like, you know, sometimes they get, like, Beatle albums that are, like, beat up and they'll put, like, 15 or $20 on it. It just, like, makes no sense to me. I mean, it's like I went in there once and found a uh, mono uh, pressing of uh, psychedelic Re or psychedelic lollipop by Blues Magoos, and you know they had a dollar on it. So it was like that division bell. That was uh, it's probably the greatest find I've honestly ever found going to record stores. 
or places that have records. It's like, I know I'm never gonna find another copy of the Division Bell just like out in the open like that. If I find it, it's gonna be probably be at a record store and it's probably gonna have like a hundred, hundred and fifty dollars on it. And to find it with the uh, limited edition blue clear vinyl on it, it's just <laughs> definitely just pure pure luck on my end. It's like I usually don't even go to half price books on Mondays, but uh, ended up walking in there today, and I was uh, really glad I did. And I'm just honestly still in shock when I had the guy uh, getting out the case. I was trying to contain my excitement, and uh, it's kind of like wanted to just pick it up and get it and leave uh, as fast as I possibly could until they. I was hoping they didn't, maybe didn't realize quite what they had, but uh, definitely the uh, <laughs> definitely the uh, coolest and best find I've ever, honestly ever found out in the open. It's like Half Price Books, and like there's like two other record stores that I visit on a regular basis. There's Odds and Odds and Ends in Shelbyville, and there's a Vinyl Rescue Project in Greenwood, and both owners are super nice. But it's like, you know, it's a retail record shop. You're not going to find uh, Pink Floyd the Division Bell for, like, $27. And it's like, I go to flea markets a lot, too. But it's like, I never honestly have gotten that lucky. It's like, usually when I find an album at a record store, it's like, high dollar, you know. It's like, I bought the uh, Grateful Dead first, their first album in mono. Mint condition, and I paid like fifty dollars for it at a at a odds and ends in Shelbyville, which I think is actually a pretty uh, fair price. But uh, it's one of those things. I really, <laughs> I just can't believe I found that album. This right here definitely is the best, uh, luckiest album. I, I'm so excited I can't even honestly talk. It's just like I just can't believe it. Uh, I don't think I'm going to get this lucky anytime soon, but uh, I am definitely psyched that I found Pink Floyd, the, the Vision Bell. It's, it's like, this is also, it's like I have like all Pink Floyd's albums, but like a couple. It's like I don't have their first two. I have the, the Nice Pair compilation. It has their first two albums in it. I don't have their first two actual like individual albums. And there's like a couple, uh, I think there's like one other one other than that that I'm actually missing. And, I honestly never thought that the Vision Bell was one album that I'd never have. And uh, I'm pleasantly surprised that I was able to find it. I'm just kind of rambling now, though, so I'm just going to end this video and just uh, say thanks, guys, again for watching. I'll have a, another video up here uh, soon.